Hi, I'm George. I'm going to show you how to add color, just like that, onto a white car or any white object very easily inside of Photoshop Elements. If you want to learn more about using Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training course, and I have a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, the first thing we need to do, let's just get rid of that background copy, delete that, is we need to make a duplicate of the background layer. So right click and duplicate layer, choose OK. This is going to be our color layer. The next thing we need to do is to make a careful selection of just the white parts of the car. Now you can use any selection method you want to. I'll use my favorite technique, which takes a little bit of time, but it's the most accurate, and that's using the polygonal lasso tool up here. Click on New Selection. I'll put my feathering at 1. This helps soften on the edge just a little bit. And then I'll zoom in on a spot, a good beginning spot, like right up here. And I'll come in fairly close and back to our polygonal tool. And then I'll simply come in here and make a careful selection around the outside of the car. I won't be worrying about anything inside the selection, just the outside contour. And then we'll come back and we'll remove everything that's inside. So it's a two-step process on this. Now when you're using this tool, take your time, breathe between each one of your clicks. Don't try to click too fast. If you click too fast, it's going to collapse your selection and you'll have to start all over again. Now when you get down to an edge like this, just hold the space bar down. You can then move the picture like that. Let go of the space bar and you continue with making your selection. So I'll just put this into fast forward mode for that and we'll zip through this part of the process. There's the finished outer selection. We now need to come in and remove anything inside, like our little bit right in here, and this bit right over here, and that, and over here. Just take those out. And for that, we'll use the same tool right back here. But I'm going to switch to the remove right here, subtract from selection. We'll do that. Now, so far, I've spent 10 minutes on making the selections. So this is not a fast process, but it's well worth the time if it's done right. I need to zoom in over here, so I'll grab my zoom tool. Notice how the selection stays active. That's good. And that's pretty good right there. Back to the polygonal lasso tool. We're still at subtract. And then do the exact same thing. This time, though, I'm going to be going around the things I want to remove. Let's go right around this here. And then once that's done, it's going to take that out of our selection. Now, it's worth taking the time to do it this way. You can try other techniques if you want to. You can do the magic wand to try to grab everything. But you're going to find that the time spent on fixing the magic wand selection is more than compensated for by taking the time to do it right the first time. So any project is well worth doing right the first time just to save yourself a lot of headache further on down in the project. Okay, I'll put the rest of this on high speed and we'll zip through that. Okay, there we go. There's the full selection all taken care of. Let's now go up here and click on the new layer mask button right there, and it converts the selection into a layer mask. And at this point, if I hide the background, you can see there is the whole white part of the car. And that took a little bit of time to get here, but that's okay. It's, again, well worth it for that particular step. I just checked my actual working time to get to this point was 22 minutes. Let's now work on putting some color in here. Everything else at this point forward goes very, very quickly. So for that, go up to Layer, come down to New Fill Layer, Solid Color, and choose OK. 
and it comes in just on top of that. Now I'm going to make a red in here and somewhere around down here is a pretty good Ferrari style red. It's about two thirds of the way down or two thirds of the way up from the bottom on the right hand side here. And that's pretty close. Choose OK. So we now have red filling our whole layer. Now come over here, right hand side, click into the layer mask for the car. Make sure you see that light blue outline. If you don't see it, double click on this side. Hold the Alt key down and drag that up and choose yes. That then applies that layer mask onto our color layer up here. Now it looks kind of weird. That's okay. We're going to be blending this layer into the layer below. Click on the color layer and then change this to pin light. And that blends in most of that color. It's not all the way where I want it to go yet, but it's very, very close. And at this point, one of the nice things about doing this technique with the layer mask is I can come back and I can adjust the layer mask if I want to. So if it needs any adjusting, now's the time to do that. I'd adjust on the base layer here and then modify that. Now, this all looks good. So our next step is to take these two layers and we're gonna merge these two layers together. Just click on your top layer right click where the name is and come down to merge down and apply and it's now just a color layer with just the car if I hide the background there it is it's just that bit and we're almost there we're gonna do one more blend mode at this point and that's come down to multiply and that just adds back in some of the richness in our color and there we go now if you take a look at this or maybe some spots where you see a little bit of white showing along the edge it depends upon how well the layer mask ended up we can easily fix those now. I'll do it right down here. I see a little bit right there, a little, little bit of a light edge right in here. Easy to fix. Go up to this layer and then grab the clone stamp tool. Then just come down here and grab a color. I'll do it right here. I'll grab that, then I'll come right on top and just wipe that color right along that edge right there. Come over here, grab some more of that and then work that up around. So you can easily come in and clean up any little bit of haloing that you may have in there from your layer mask just using this very fast clone stamp technique. And go around, check all of your edges. Make sure nothing is showing in there that you don't want to have shown. As long as you're using a very small clone stamp brush on this, this will work out just fine. Now on this one where you have dark to light, I'm gonna go right in the middle of that section and pull that down to here. Then I can back up into the dark and then come down to the light just like that and there we go cleans up that edge very nicely so i'll go around and i'll take the time to do a nice cleanup on all of these edges just to make sure everything is exactly where i want it and at that point the car will be finished you can see they're real easy to do this little cleanup step okay let's back out i'll finish that later there we go see how nice and clean that is right down there the white car is still right here and our color is just kind of an overlay on top of the original white layer if you like this video Hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe, and take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. There's a link for that right down there in the description. And I'll see you next time.